After the success of Star Wars Shadows of the Empire on the Nintendo 64 in 1996, LucasArts began working on a follow-up. While working on this plan, developer Factor 5 was working on a game engine to create large terrain maps for the planned sequel to Rescue on Fractalis, an older game from LucasArts. When LucasArts signed a three-game exclusivity deal with Nintendo, Factor 5 was allowed to convert the work into a Star Wars game. The game focus was completely inspired by the opening Battle of Hoth level from Shadows of the Empire. Factor 5 designed the game engine, the music and worked closely with Nintendo, while LucasArts produced the game's content and assured it was faithful to Star Wars canon. Rogue Squadron was born. Luke, I think we've got a problem. Is that my imagination or are those Imperial probe droids dead ahead? They're attacking us? The game's story was influenced by the Star Wars X-Ring Rogue Squadron comics and is taking place primarily between the events of A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. The player controls Luke Skywalker, commander of the elite X-Wing pilots known as Rogue Squadron. As the game progresses, Skywalker and Rogue Squadron fight the Galactic Empire in 16 missions across various planets. Alright Rogue Group, the supply vehicles have begun moving, their escort will follow shortly. Players are able to control different ships during the game. The player's performance is checked against three metal benchmarks after the completion of each level. Acquiring these medals promotes the player's rank and helps unlock hidden content. This way the player gets access to three bonus levels. Beggar's Canyon, the Death Star Trench Run and the Battle of Hoth. Before the game's release, Factor 5 successfully appealed to Nintendo to release the Nintendo 64's newly developed memory expansion pack commercially. Rogue Squadron was one of the first games to take advantage of this added piece of hardware, which allowed gameplay at a higher display resolution. But late in development, the team realized that they were developing the game with a Nintendo 64 memory expansion in place at all times. Unable to run the game on a standard Nintendo 64, they began working on compression techniques to allow the game to run within the confines of the standard console. Ultimately, Rogue Squadron was made to run on a standard Nintendo 64, but the expansion pack doubled the resolution. Next to the Nintendo 64, the game also released for Windows. Upon release, critics praised the game's technical achievements and flight controls, but its use of distance fog and the lack of a multiplayer mode drew criticism. The game's sales exceeded expectations. By August 1999, more than 1 million copies had sold worldwide. Rogue Squadron was a hit. It spawned two sequels, a spiritual successor, and some elements might find a way to the big screen.